and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing first in the Zero Trip promo and the first glitch that has already occurred in the Zero Trip promo. Madden has a history for some reason of always allowing there to be a glitch or always having an in-game glitch within the first drops of Zero Chill. There's always something. This one was really, really good. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it was and go over that in just a second, guys. Before we get into the video, as you guys know, it's the 25 days of Poodmas. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word, and your comments. So once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck, now let's get into the bulk of this video. So, the glitch was pretty simple. So when you come over to challenges, and you come over here to play the Zero Chill solos, the milestones state that your first earned tier one is a team captain token as you guys know we typically get one like team captain token per promo so we can slowly progress our team captains such as Shazier, Herman Moore, Dallas Clark, and Ty Law now the glitch was if you did this within the first hour or so I believe it was of the thing you get two team captain tokens so I was actually on the phone with someone he had just did it he got both I finished mine 30 seconds later and I didn't get it I don't know if it's passed yet I'd imagine it is but now a lot of people are going to be having very upgraded team captains so to show you guys what i'm talking about i did get my team captain up but only to a 94. some people have shazier to 95 now which is kind of cheating it's kind of cheap i should say not cheating that a lot of people are going to have a much better team captain than you but there's nothing you can do about it i don't think there's anything ea could really do about it either so for all you guys who got this done already congrats to you guys you probably have it i i guess i missed out i did it no like not even joking 20 seconds like while on the phone as he got his i backed out and i guess it was past trade it's funny because when the market doesn't work the servers don't work our house rules rewards don't work our packs don't work i know packs always work i'm sorry one thing when certain things that we care about don't work it takes days it takes hours it takes quite a long time promos come out late but when they almost give us something for free done 20 seconds it was very ironic but anyways Besides the point, guys, get over what you should be doing first. Now, first thing I'm going to be doing, guys, with the new currency, you definitely want to be stacking up on Kindling and Gingerbread Men. Now, at the moment, my best advice I have for you guys is probably not to spend your Kindling yet or your Gingerbread Men. I will be doing math later, going over some of the things to use it on. But for the time being, I recommend hold on to your Kindling and your Gingerbread Men. You are in no rush to use any of them. Now, the way you could really, you could be building up Kindling right now or even Gingerbread Men, the, probably the best way is house rules, whether it be solo or online house rules. doesn't really matter. You have the option of both, as you guys probably saw from my... 10:30 video so there's snowball fight you do get a hearth a hearth hearth i still can't say it but a pack per every game you play every win so i believe that hearth pack is probably gonna contain probably maybe puzzle pieces gingerbread men and maybe kindling one of the above maybe it'll be like just like halloween ones where you can get three random things you get like you get one per probably now per every five, five wins 15 wins 30 wins 15 50 wins it keeps going up every time you hit one of those thresholds you get one gingerbread token or gingerbread cookie so you can get a total of 15 gingerbread cookies from this so that is quite a few considering that ap is six cooper is four and no ted hendrix is six cooper is four and ap is three so that combines to what 13 you need 13 total cookies so heads, house rules alone will get you enough cookies to complete all of them so you're going to be left with an excess of cookies which leads me to believe that you're going to be able to use those cookies for something else in this promo so i'm telling you guys my best bet again um, unless you don't care i would probably hold on to the cookies a little bit to see what else they release because maybe they'll release more cards and more things to use gingerbread cookies on because they're giving us an excess amount of cookies unless they just want to make sure that we're going to be able to get it from either mode we don't have to be stuck to one but i doubt it and then you also get the hearth packs which are definitely interesting to have in the case of saving up kindling uh puzzle pieces now if you don't want to be playing that the next thing i'd recommend going over to is these solo challenges specifically the zero chill and the daily now the daily ones are definitely important to get on because those give you a hearth pack which are definitely important so these are the hearth challenges there's it says there's nine potential things to get which is weird nine total cards and i believe you can play this this can be played as many times as you want so you get a hearth pack every time you play it so i recommend playing on hearts so you get three I think that's gonna be the difference right so you can keep replaying it and keep going with this now this is the same thing as the house rules you're gonna keep getting one i don't know how good these packs are i imagine they're not overpowered by any sense because that would imply that you would be able to get them every single time but you can so i imagine that's not going to be the case but i definitely will get them done because they are able to be getting gotten so if they do get you puzzle pieces and things like that you could get your puzzles done pretty quickly which could get you your free present next is going to be the zero chill solos like i said because it is pretty good you still get a team captain token 
away uh, uniform a gingerbread man a gingerbread man a gingerbread man let's get the total gingerbread men first one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen you get 13 from here and you get 15 from the other sets 28 total unless they just want to make sure that you don't have to play only the solos you could also play house rules i don't really know or maybe just you can get it quicker because you're not gonna be able to get all these tiers just yet until they release more solos at the end you do get a zero chill 88 to 91 but you cannot get all these just yet you can only get some you can only get up to tier 50 or, or i should say 50 stars as of now so you can only get up to tier three so definitely just get them done so you're ahead so that when the time comes you don't feel overwhelmed that's the worst thing you could do is they drop solos every day and secret word for today's video is going to be kindling comment down below the word kindling like the video comment your console and subscribe to the channel once you know all those things you're entered to win good luck instead of playing one to two every day you wait to the end and you have like 400 to play i you don't want to do that because then you end up feeling overwhelmed you never get them done like i do with mud heroes i should have played them slowly i waited to the end and i still haven't played them since now as far as the gingerbread men go like i said holding them probably smart thing for now until you know and if you want those players go ahead they do come with built-in abilities so they are really really cool and if you guys know what players i'm talking about i'm gonna show you right now if i had to get one of them i'll show you guys exactly who i'd probably end up choosing one that's kind of enticing i'm not gonna lie is probably adrian peterson adrian peterson has really good abilities built into him let's see where he is adrian peterson comes with bruiser jukebox so that's really really good oh it says on the bottom i'm so dumb people are gonna make fun of me in the video and i was sitting there thinking bulldozer jukebox and bruiser and first one free x factor that's solid mark cooper has outside apprentice double me x factor in specialist out corner elite and ted hendrix has secure tackler enforcer run stuff for reinforcement x factor and his power play they all come with their power players i honestly think i, th I think mark cooper solid i think adrian peterson solid i don't think i'd use ted hendrix in the way i run my scheme but Amar Cooper and Adrian Peterson, if you were going to take some, probably not the worst choices. Now, once you're done with all that, obviously collecting the puzzle piece is going to be a big part. We don't exactly know where you get them from, but I'm imagining you get them from the hearth packs, luckily, as time goes. So definitely start betting this build because this will give you a pretty good present, a medium present. I don't know if it's a medium present or better, just a medium present. Either way, you can only do it once, so you definitely want to get it done and get your present. And then the fantasy pack. This is simply, if you get two of the same collectibles or three of the same collectibles, you can toss two into here. You can toss your repeats into here to pick one that you need to finish your puzzle, which is pretty cool. Kind of interesting how they did that. And then you want to get this done too, which is the hearth collect, uh, collection. It's repeatable. You place 100 kindling and you put a, I believe, a frozen player collectible. You get those two and you do get that done and you get a player. It is repeatable, which is weird. So I don't really know what they're going to give you, but we will obviously find that out. If it's repeatable, I don't know if it changes because why would you want the same thing over and over again? Kind of weird. And the last thing is you want to get your presents, but guys, I don't think there's any rush to be getting your presents as of now. As you guys can see, coming over here, it's a large gift, medium gift, and small gift. They open up on Christmas and they all are set prices. I personally, right at this moment, until I know more, I'd recommend maybe you hold on to your all your, you just stockpile kindling and you stockpile uh, gingerbread for a little bit until you ex exactly know what everything's going to be, until all the present hints are out, until everything comes out. Because for the time being, we don't exactly know too much. And I imagine things are going to drop. They already said it. this is only the first segment. Things will drop. So sometimes it always sucks if you, in the first set, you spend all your kindling on these large presents. And then they drop the second and third part. They drop a whole bunch of new stuff. And now you're short on kindling. So I recommend maybe you wait a little bit. I'll have a video for you guys. Or someone will have a video at some point going over the best things to do at some point during this day. More than likely or with this week. So you'll eventually know. And you can work with that. And then from there, now you can save a little bit more in case more stuff drops. But that's kind of how I'm attacking this right now. I'm probably going to get right into the house rules. And the solos build up my kindling a little bit and then try to work my way towards maybe a present or two just just to try them out and then may, i'll probably end up waiting though so i know a little bit more they are the re-rolls which i don't exactly recommend i don't know the exact math conversions on it yet we will know more about that and by the way for that set i was showing you the hearth set with the 100 kindling you do do it right here you put 100 kindling into here and then you put that into the defrosting player now i don't know if it's a random player every time but we're gonna obviously see that when someone actually does it i would have done it but i do not have enough kindling just yet although i could have sold that kevin guy or whatever i got the hubbard that i just got from the 85 plus by the way in the store there is an 85 plus pack for 150 points not a bad value if you get one of the better ones up to you guys if you want to try that enough your money spent no money spent but that's the point i had the 150 sitting there so i decided i toss it onto there and guys i do have a pack opening ready for you guys at some point which i'm saving for one more, some ltds drop for this i'm trying to pull my first ltd this christmas season but i think that wraps it up like i said play your solos play your house rules I'd recommend as far as if you guys are wondering about coins, I wouldn't spend coins just yet. Things are obviously coming down just a little bit because of the nature of new things coming out, but I don't really think these are that great. Bruce Smith is really good. Leonard McCaffrey and whoever the other one was, not too great. I don't think they're entirely amazing. So I don't think I'd recommend shelling out the cash for them just yet. I think I'd probably end up waiting. Let's see, it was Darius Leonard and 
Derwin James. I don't think they're all that great. Derwin James is good and all, but we already have Pat Toman. And then there's obviously McCaffrey and Bruce, Bruce Smith. McCaffrey's getting really, really cheap, actually. So he's not a bad buy. I don't think he's the greatest, but as a receiving back, I wouldn't really mind him. And then Bruce Smith is actually really good. So if I was going to buy anyone from this so far, I'd probably buy him. But I think that wraps up what I'd do first. Kind of what you want to be doing for, to, at least today, just to get you guys started. But that is about it for the video, guys. If you're new to the channel or anything, remember there's 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word and your console and you're entered to win. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I should have like three or four more videos after you guys, so stay tuned for all those. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.